So, hello everybody. I hope you guys are doing absolutely amazing. And I am out here on a beautiful Florida early morning. And yes, I am talking about bananas. But not necessarily the fruit of bananas. I'm out here trimming these back and feeding the leaves to my goats and cows. And yes, that's what this video is about. I've probably read the heading already. Bananas are absolutely amazing for a livestock fodder crop, especially with feed prices just absolutely insane. I feed my chickens, which I'm right here by my chicken coop, uh, organic. You know, they get organic mix. And I can no longer buy it in bulk because it's not available, but the prices are just astronomical now for what I pay and well let alone if I actually bought commercial feed for my goats my pigs and my cows it would be unsustainable 100% but the only feed that I bring in is for my chickens so I have to grow quite a bit of food for my pigs my cows and my goats and bananas fill that niche spectacularly guys and of course I'm in, you know, central Florida, but bananas are extremely adaptable and you can grow them basically anywhere here in the Southern United States. You know, we recently, uh, went on a trip and went through North Alabama, North Mississippi, and there's bananas growing up there, you know, and then last year I was up in Tennessee and there's people growing bananas in Tennessee guys. And I know you can grow them all along the Gulf Coast and some up the Atlantic Coast and California, everywhere. Bananas can be grown so many places. And if you're not growing them for fruit, you know, you can get absolute tons of animal fodder off of these plants. And this particular variety, as you see, I've been cutting them back, happens to be Namwa which just does extremely, extremely well for me in my area, and it's right up against my chicken coop. So they're tapping into the chicken coop nutrition. Oh, excuse me. And they're getting the runoff from the roof. So they just grow mind-blowingly fast. These guys can easily put on two, three feet a month and push out two to six, seven leaves, new leaves a month, and it's just cut and come again. I grow enough bananas that my animals can be fed nothing but banana leaves and stalks about two, three times a week. So absolute massive amounts of food for very little care. And there's so many banana varieties, hundreds of course, but there are the Namwa or the Vulvatinia, for instance, which that's a technically a dwarf banana, but those are great fodder varieties. They grow extremely fast. They're relatively small. You can even cut them to the ground, basically, and they will shoot up even more shoots and give you more feed. So they are a beautiful and perfect, easy to grow, fast, fairly nutritious fodder crop. You know, lots of fiber, but there's some protein in there, lots of nutrition, especially if you're giving them lots of compost, lots of good soil. That, of course, is going to end up in the greens and in the leaves and in the stalks. And then that's getting fed to your animals. You don't have to worry about it being genetically modified. You don't have to worry about it being spraying because bananas don't need any of that. So they really, there's basically zero downside to raising bananas to feed to your goats, your cows, your sheep, your pigs. And, uh, yeah. So get going, guys. Why aren't you growing bananas to feed your livestock? Everybody, especially today, is wanting to grow food, which as it should be. And there are tons of you guys getting into starting to raise livestock. And it's, it's a, kind of the worst time with prices and everything flying. So anything you can do to lower the cost of keeping those animals is, is worth doing. And bananas, again, are so fast-growing. You can buy three, four corms of, say, a Namwa here and have a patch growing next year that you could feed 
four or five goats off of relatively easily. And I just tend to cut the leaves. I got my trusty dusty knife here. I'm cutting some for the goats right now. I cut the leaves off and just give them whole to the cows and the goats. But you can, yeah, I normally don't do this one hand. You can grind it up or mash it up the whole stock. Just cut your whole stock off. And if you've got a, a, a shredder or anything like that, and that can be fed to the pigs and everybody like that. But super easy to harvest. And there you go, guys. You know, you want to grow food and you want to grow food to feed your food, <laughs> right? <laughs> and save money all the way around. So get grown with those fodder crops. You don't have to get livestock and feed them grains. You really don't. Chickens need that higher protein, so they do need some grains. Or if you're going to raise some feeder insects for them. But for goats, cows, sheep, and pigs, you can get a very substantial amount of their diet off of raising something like bananas here. And of course you supplement that with yard weeds and the kitchen scraps and whatnot for the pigs. The goats and the cows, while they cannot live 100% off of banana, it can, of course, be a very large part of their diet. And, of course, give them a range of weeds and stuff like that. And right here in my chicken coop, there's another plant growing. Tendora, which that is another extremely fast-growing plant that gets fed to the livestock as well. So, there you go, guys. Bananas as a fodder crop. Definitely something you should look into. You can grow them basically anywhere. They're extremely fast growing, super easy to care for. They can go in the worst parts of your property. They can take a bit of shade or stick them around your chicken coop and have them use and soak up that extra nutrition. Just perfect and super easy to grow. And uh, that's the way it's going to have to go in the coming years because not only are prices flying, it's getting very hard to find feed. And who wants to feed genetically modified crap to their livestock anyways? And bananas can be planted extremely densely. You can have a whole stand of bananas and harvest easily, you know, three, four hundred pounds plus of leaves a month off of them. Just have a whole stand going to feed your livestock. So thank you for watching, guys. Think about feeding your animals. And if you don't have them, think about getting them. And, you know, we don't want to eat banana leaves. But those goats and cows can live off of them and supplement whatever other greens they're getting. So then we go and eat those tasty little buggers, don't we? Yeah, I'm going to come eat you. Shush. He's showing off because I'm sitting here. <laughs> See you later, guys. Love you. Grow food. Grow food for your food. And take care. Check out the links and everything below. See you later. Bananas as a fodder crop. I've been doing it for years and years and years, and I can tell you what, they are a winner. See you later.